Hello everyone, I'm Erica and welcome to Friday Sews. If you're new to this channel, thank you for stopping by. If you like what you see here today, please subscribe. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. So, this week on Friday Sews, I made the same shirt three times. <laughs> and that's, that's what I've got to show you guys. It's a true 1950s pattern and I will show it to you. This is part of my entry to the Killer Kitsch Blouse Along, which is on the Discord channel that they have. I will put a link to, I'll figure it out. I'm not sure exactly how to link to Discord, but I'll find a way to help you guys get there. Anyway, um, it is a place to discuss on Discord all your uh, retro and vintage sewing and knitting needs. Um, it is a sister group to the Killer Kitsch Facebook group, which I do moderate part, help moderate. And then we also have the Sew a Vintage Style Dress group, which is just dresses and is also on Facebook. So, you know, if you want to find communities. So this is the top I made three times this week. This is the Historical Stitches Claire Wrap Top in the medium size. This is from the Subversive Femme Etsy shop. So, let's talk about this. Let's break it down. It wraps in the back. It ties on the shoulder. It has darts. Um, it is made in woven fabric. And uh, things I love about it. I love the shape of the top. I really like how clear and easy to print the PDF pattern was. It was very affordable. Um, and it's a really cute top. Things I did not love. I didn't love do as bi doing bias binding. You have to bind the V-neck, the back, and all the underarms if you make it in the woven fabric. And then it only comes in one size. So it comes in the size 34 medium, which is 34 bust. Um, I am a 34 upper bust and a 36 full bust, and it still fit me. Um, you could definitely make those darts larger or smaller to get some leeway on sizes, but if you're too much bigger than the pattern, you'd probably have to grade. Um, you can see an excellent sew along for this pattern from Liz Von Villis' channel. I will link to that. She's why I tried this one in the first place. So let me show you my three versions. And again, I had work this week, so that's pretty much all I did. So the first one is made out of a bed sheet and it's in a woven fabric. Um, it is this really pretty pink color, and I'm gonna pop all these on for you guys after. So, as you can see, it has these little ties, and I didn't cut all my loose threads. Oh, embarrassing. But it has these little um, facings for your ties, so when you put it on, your ties look pretty, and they're self fabric. Um, bias binding, I hate doing it, but it did work. Um, so after making the first version in woven, I started thinking to myself, I bet I can make it in a knit. So I did twice. So the first one I did was this knit top. And what I did for this version, this is from some scraps. So what I did is on the woven version, it's got a half an inch seam allowance. On the knit version, I did a 5 8 seam allowance to make it a little smaller. This is, I drew my own grown on facing for the front V. I hemmed the underarm seams. So I just turned it under and hemmed it, which is not the best option. And then I actually did the regular, why can you not see it? Goodness gracious, just regular knit binding around the back. So that worked pretty good. So then I did a final version that's fully lined in this hot pink. So here it is. It is fully lined. And I think that actually, if you are better at this sort of thing than I am, you can make this one reversible. Um, and then I also added this little 
tie spot, like this little place for the tie to go through. And unfortunately, I got confused and I added it to the dart line instead of the waist seam line. So this does not fit as well as I would like it to. But I'm calling it the final version because I'm, I'm sick of sewing the same pattern. So if I ever revisited this, I would make a fully lined one again and uh, do it in the knit. So let me go and try these on and you can see kind of how they look on a person. This without a mirror, kind of hard to do with this top. Um, the shoulders, the ties could be a little better. Sorry about that. But this at least gives you an idea. So this is the woven fabric one. So as you can see, see it just didn't, with the binding, it doesn't sit as flat as I would like it, and 90% of that is user era. This fabric also is kind of a pain in the butt to use. Like I said, it's an old Betsy Johnson bed sheet that I got at Ross. Uh, it's a fantastic color, but it's a little bit weird to sew with because it's like a poly, and I was kind of fighting it. So yeah, um, the back. Let me see my bra of course you can. Just... So yeah, you kind of got to play around with it to get it sitting right. But once you do, I think it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool little top. So that was the first one that I made that kind of got me on the road. And I'll show you guys number two. And this one I think is the, the most successful for me fit perspective. Fits really well, as you can see. How much do I mess with the back? The back's fine. Yeah, so it just has that nice wrap detail in the back. Wraps around to the front. So see, this is why I think even though this pattern only comes in the one size, it could, it could have some leeway as far as sizing goes. But yeah, this one is really cute. I'll probably wear it a bit this summer, I think. And this is the one that has the, um, the self-facing, which I think looks pretty great. Um, so yeah, the grown-on facing really made a difference. So I love this one. And then I'll show you the third one. To being perfect, except I put, like I said, the, um, the little pass-through buttonhole in the wrong place. So the back kind of gapes a little bit, which I'll show you guys. So there you go. I mean, it's not terrible, but if I would have put the buttonhole in the exact, a little bit further down, like actually at the um, side seam instead of where the dart was, this would be the most epic version of this top ever. So I do really love this one and I will definitely wear it. Um, and actually, as I'm looking at it again, that little fix is such a simple one. I can't do it on this one because I've already made the hole in the back, but, uh, I don't know, I could see myself, it takes less than a yard. Like you can literally use scraps to make this in the knit or the woven. This is a double brushed, no, it's a DTY poly. Um, I would also think that my darts came out a little funky this time. I just um, probably need to like pull those back. But yeah, with it being fully lined, I think it has a really nice finish to it. And um, yeah, I love this pink color. Um, I actually have another dress cut out of this pink. That's a sleeveless uh, sleeveless dress cut out of this that I'll probably sew next week. Um, I also, after I made these tops, I realized that I kind of want more cute little tops in my life. And so I actually treated myself to one of the Gertie patterns. So I now have the Gertie Hepburn, oh my goodness, the Gertie Hepburn top. And the first one I wanna make is that sleeveless one with the little ruching on the sleeve. But I like all these versions. And um, if anybody has experience with this top, please comment down below and let me know how you liked it. Um, because I could definitely see myself liking this a lot. I love, look at that bishop sleeve one. That'll be good for the winter. So yeah, I'm really hoping I can get a good fit with this and uh, try that out. So that's next week. Um, I'm planning on doing a couple test fits of that. And then finally, and of course I can't try it on because I wore a big elaborate hairdo today, but I finished 
my Principessa Beret, which is a pattern by Karina Blasco, which is Heathcote Road on Ravelry. And it is this beautiful lace beret in, um, this is Rainforest Heather Stroll by Knit Picks is the yarn. Like I said, you're not gonna be able to really, you know, it's a, it's a beret. <laughs> so it kind of sits down like this. Um, but yeah, this was uh, about a week to knit. And uh, I love, I love the, the details. I love that sort of leafy design that's in it. I feel like this is gonna be beautiful in the spring when we go on our walks because it's still cold, but it feels like spring outside. So I'm so excited to have this beret in my life. And it's really soft. I'd never used the Stroll yarn before, but I definitely would use them again. And I actually have a hot pink and Stroll that I wanna maybe make another beret or something else out of. This also only took one skein, which is like 200 and something yards. And I actually have some yardage left over so I could do some little bits of color work or something with this green, because I love this green. It is so beautiful. So that's pretty much what I've got for you guys this week. Um, as far as entertainment type stuff goes, um, we watched um, Black Panther, uh, which was amazing because we're still working our way through the Marvel movies. We started watching the DC Justice League Zack Snyder cut. So we watched the first hour of that we're kind of breaking it up into like episodes kind of like a show so we'll probably watch more of that tonight um but so far so far i like it there's a lot more wonder woman um well not wonder woman but there, there's a lot of wonder woman but there's a lot of like amazons in the first uh the first couple chapters so i love i mean the whole movie could be amazons and i'd be happy like i'm I'm so into them. So uh, that was really fun. Good start on that. Um, what else? Oh, we watched um, this movie. It's got bats. It's an old movie. Oh, man. This movie called Nightwing, which is a much older film. I think it's the late 70s, early 80s-ish, maybe. I'm not 100% sure on when it came out. But it is, if you've seen the movie Bats, which came out, I think in the 90s, it's kind of similar to that in that there's like vampire bats and they are terrorizing people and killing people. But this one is um, set in um, a Native American reservation and um, basically this old like shaman dude is like I'm really sick of all the bad things that are happening and people invading our territory and us not being treated with respect so I'm just gonna end the world um, so that's what he tells uh, tells the person that he's kind of raised who's this cop and then these vampire bat things start like happening where they're attacking and killing people in the area <laughs> And uh, the bats look really like rubber and fake, um, but they are they are bad bats. These are bats that actually hurt people. I know real vampire bats don't do that, um, but yeah, these are like sort of demon bats, basically, that are, in theory, could have been called down for the apocalypse, but it gets a little like mystical and supernatural and it's a lot of fun so i think we saw that on amazon prime maybe um but yeah so that was that was that so we actually watched more shows this week than we usually do um and aside from that and working and making the same shirt three times and, uh, and knitting a cute hat that's that's been my week so um what have you guys been up to let me know uh, down below. I love to talk with you guys. Also, um, like I said, if you've enjoyed what you've seen today, subscribe and hit the bell notification. I've noticed that um, I have a lot of people that watch but don't subscribe. So if you don't want to miss anything, it's the best way to do it. 
Um, I upload here on Fridays with craft content, and then on Monday, I've started to upload retro-inspired um, hair and makeup and beauty type stuff. So if that's something you're into as well, check out Mondays. So I'll see you guys very soon. Take care. Bye.